Now, people of all ages experience loneliness, and recent studies have shown that the rise of the internet and social media haven't made forging real human connections any easier. Joining me now is someone who's working to try and get us all better engaged with one another and helping getting people who might lack confidence to go out into the community. Hello, Nikki. Thanks for coming Hi. in. So you are a community connector. Tell That's me right. a bit about what that is and what you do. OK, well, I'm part of a new project. Well, it's been running since July last year, run by Portsmouth City Council. Um, and I'm part of a team of four. And we, we work with people who've either been identified by professionals in the community as being socially isolated or lonely, or who've identified themselves as being lonely. And our role is to meet with them, talk to them about what they'd like to achieve. So perhaps they've got a goal that they'd like to join a social club or they'd like to um, be able to join the healthy walks that run in the city. And we'll, we'll work with them over a period of time, usually between eight and 12 weeks. And we can actually go to those activities with them. So we're not just sending them information. We can actually accompany them um, for the first couple of times. So, And if that includes going on the bus, maybe, if they're not used to travelling by bus or they've um, maybe lost their confidence about doing that. Um, so we'll go through the whole, all the stages with them until they feel that they've found something that they feel they can enjoy and they feel comfortable doing. Um, and we'll gradually then ease off. So we might meet them at the venue next time rather than going with them. Um, so we hope to build their confidence about continuing to do that on their own. Um, I think, I mean, one of the things we've heard a lot about this year and last year is kind of loneliness amongst elderly people. But is it always elderly people that you're dealing with? No, not at all. Our service is available to anybody over the age of 18 in the city. Um, probably, predominantly, uh, the majority of our referrals are of people in their 70s. Um, but we've also had um, 24-year-old 20, referred um, who, who herself wanted to go on a course to build her self-esteem but needed somebody just to help her get there for the first few weeks so that was our role with her so no anybody of any age can be affected by loneliness and um, we want to sort of dispel the myth really that it is only older people who become um, lonely and socially isolated because anybody can be affected for, through any life event really. It could be they've moved to the area, they don't know people, or maybe they've become redundant or lost their job in some way, or um, they might have had to give up driving because of some illness or disability. Could be a whole myriad of reasons why someone could become lonely. I mean, there might be some people watching this that are thinking this is kind of like the council becoming a friend, which isn't really what the council is here to do, is it? No, no, we're not befrienders. That's why it's a short-term intervention. Okay. Well, we're involved for a short period of time. So we say roughly about eight weeks because we don't want people to become dependent on us. I know we're very focused, very goal-focused on what we want to, what that person wants to achieve. Um, if they need befriending, if it becomes apparent perhaps that they they can't quite build that confidence to maintain going out on their own, then we would refer them on to a befriending service because there is a service in the city that provides that. No, we're very much, we're trying to prevent people's needs escalating because a lot of lonely people, it not only affects their mental well-being but also their physical well-being and GPs are often, their surgeries are often, um, there's a high percentage of people who, who are attending because they're lonely, they've got social needs that obviously a GP can't meet. Um, so, and also people's needs escalate and then they may need to the services of adult social care so we want to try and prevent that happening so um, intervening early on as a preventative service. And are you volunteers or are you funded by the council? Um, no there's um, four the four paid members of staff who are in the team right. but we also have a pool of volunteers who've all been trained um, they've all been police checked um, and when when the community connector has done their assessment of the person and worked out the plan the action plan then we may introduce a volunteer and it would be that person who would accompany the person on their visits or, okay yeah so 
So just someone watching this wants to either get in touch with you guys because they're worried, they think, you know, this could really help me, you know, avoid social isolation. Or perhaps someone watching us who thinks, this is something I, you know, feel strongly about and I want to volunteer. How can they get in touch with you? Um, well, if they've got access to the internet, then if they look at the Portsmouth City Council website and put community connectors into the search box, that will come up with our contact details. Or they can also ring us um, and our phone number is 02392 841762. Um, so they can contact us directly by phone as well. Nikki, thank you so much for coming in. We've run out of time, I'm afraid, but I, I do hope it goes well for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.